This playthrough is rated T for teen. Really, really, Maya, are you gonna really do that? It's the 21st century. I think we can get past that type of talk. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Lundra. In the last episode, we earned Elena's dream to save her, but unfortunately, she suffers from multiple personalities, which means her nightmares split up into four different types of nightmares, though they all seem to be interconnected via Elena herself. And luckily, Maya is with us because, because of the split personalities, multiple dungeons require two people. Convenient, huh? But uh, anyway, it looks like we have kind of like a weird rivalry slash using us each other situation here because it seems to be, uh, we seem to keep like insulting each other like, well, she does. All right, Alindra, the path to the door is open. This is the moment of truth. Let's get to it. But uh, she seems to like revel in this or something like that. So anyway, it's like the door is open. So let's go inside. Ooh, creepy. Oh, I guess I could have went over to talk to her, but yeah, I think she would have repeated her dialogue, so what the... There you are. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, hello. It's been so very long since I've had visitors. By all means, it's come in. You know, if I could do an uh, Wednesday Adams or something like that, that's the voice I would use. And die! But I'm not... Uh-oh. We've got... Uh... I forgot what the... I think the boss is technically called a hidden eye, but yeah, we have to fight two of these guys. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, it's kind of like that... Almost kind of similar to that one boss from a long time ago. Um, the uh, G, uh, gel thing or whatever it's called. Um, I thought I could uh, do any to it. There we go. You have to hit the eye inside the thing to do damage to it. So Sometimes you can kind of get the AI to like glitch into itself. Um, now technically, if I went through, from what I remember correctly, if I went through some of the other areas first, I wouldn't be actually fighting two of these guys, but there's like a, um, I went through the area that, like, activated two of them first, so. Um, I'm trying to remember how much, uh, HP they have. They have quite a bit. They have, like, 80 or something like that, or, oh no, it's like, um, I always forget, like, how much, like, HP they've got. I don't know if this is probably the most effective way to fight them. You could probably, uh, and I could probably do magic, because I you have to go back to the save spot at some point anyway, but I usually like saving my magic for, uh, uh, like, healing if it really gets bad to it. Although we do have all those herbs around. Man, I'm getting hit, hit by these guys more than I should be at this point. And obviously, while they're, while they're weak. Yeah, sometimes you can get these guys stunned, but then other times I can't get them to stun out for very well or something, so... Yeah, you can see they get hit when their whole bodies like kind of become clear for about a brief moment. Yeah, I'm trying to stun the other one so I don't so it doesn't keep attacking me while I hit the actual one or one of them anyway. Yeah, usually you're supposed to fight like one of these bosses back to back, not, or one of these bosses, not two of them. Well, actually, I think you have to fight two of them at one point. Um, just uh, ah. yeah, I probably should go in. Heal. What if I can hurt them with the heal? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Get back to the. Yeah, I'm just charging. It really doesn't help for damage on this one. Man, they hurt pretty. They hit pretty heavy. That's for sure. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, have you ever thought that like some of these bosses last a lot longer than they probably should have, given your like abilities and everything like that? Well, from what I understand of this, I could be a little off by this, but from what I understand, uh, working designs when they translated this game, they uh, adjusted some features when they were programming the game, and they apparently added extra HP to a lot of the monsters in this game. So, the, so some of the fights actually take a lot longer than they're supposed to because some of the stats of the monsters are beefed up. Not so much in damage, but it's just they take longer to kill. I guess to add extra, um, what's the word? Just extra time to the fights, you know? Um, which is interesting. I don't know why they would do that, but you know, a little background information for you. There's actually, if the Japanese version of this, they're actually, you know, have less HP, so it doesn't take as long. It's still dangerous, obviously, but Oh, and apparently what you're supposed to do with these guys, you're supposed to smack them multiple times till their bottom eye hits the ground and then you hit them. So, yeah, these guys are taking longer. Maybe I need to swap out, try uh, try the sword instead. See if that works. That's how you're able to stun them, is like, 
by hitting when you hit the other one, for example. Um, but of course, as soon as they get hit, they uh, man, take a longer for me to do this with a fight than I would expect, actually. Yeah. I have to actually start healing here pretty soon if I'm not careful. And obviously run away as soon as they get clear. Yeah, but they kind of fall in for that too often, so. Well, you'd be surprised how often you can just. Man, this fight's taking a lot longer than they should. I'm probably not being the most efficient. I probably should be using the Fiend Blade on. Oh, finally! Yeesh! Well, you can tell by the color discoloration on one of them that they're finally wearing down. I probably should be using the Fiend Blade. That's probably would do more damage. Like when I actually hit the eye. But, At it. It looks like the looks like the other one's almost at that stage too. Maybe so many more hits. Yeah, she probably we can be weakening with the uh, the fire wand and then going in with the fiend blade or something like that to do more damage. Yep, just just keep wailing on him. I don't know what else to tell you. So. Yeah, let me try the Fiend Blade. Maybe that'll... We can put a bit more damage into it. Although it's not really hard to tell if that's actually working or not. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't close enough to the eye. There we go. Finally. Yeesh. Finally down. There's that one. So now we can... Come on. Oh, not close enough. At least, uh... Yeah, at least it stuns them when you do this, so. Not a hard fight, just because of the HP. There we go. Just because the HP of the creatures just takes a hot minute, so. Yeah, I think the Fiend Blade was doing a lot more damage, so I probably shouldn't have been doing that, but because of the two of them, I was trying to find ways to get past that little area, so. By the way, that's not the end of the Hidden Eyes. We've still got more of them to go. Because every time we beat one of these um, diamonds, they uh, go on to the next one. So yeah, now that we've beaten that, now we go on to the next one. So it's the same as before, just strike the diamond. We'll do the purple one next. So, And we'll go on to that. Um, oh, I guess I just walk through here. And it should set up the back to the next area, so... Oh, I guess I... Yeah, where'd Maya go? Oh, yeah, I never did uh, get those uh, treasures in that one in that one room. Yeah, the, the, the rooms do... The crystals do tie into each other via... Oops. There we go. Um, it may seem like first like that the, each crystal is its own area. And there is... That is a point to a case, but... Um, but they do have some tie-ins because you have to go back to certain puzzle areas later and stuff like that. So, I wonder if the treasures have dropped yet or not. Oop, I actually didn't mean to walk way right back into that thing. But yeah, that yeah that boss fight almost took longer than it should have. Like it, it was almost like dragging on that type of thing. Like it's not a bad fight. It's just you know, you're like, all right, I've done like a ton of damage to you. Come on. You know. I guess we have to destroy that one desert uh, uh, gem to unlock these, or get back to this point. I'll try going back. Actually, I don't. Now that I know that's still locked, I can leave. I want to check that one area and see if that, because I think the gem was that like we like um, uh, desert, like sandy type of gem or whatever. Let me take a look. I think that was the one on the over southwest side or lower left side or whatever. Oh, no, it's the upper side. Anyway, let's uh, heal up our magic and our uh, HP bar. I didn't have to use any items because of that. But yeah, I'm trying to remember all the differences in the original Japanese version that working designs changed. Yeah, I, th I think the main thing was it was just HP bars and stat differences, so it'd take longer to beat enemies and bosses. I thought about doing like a bonus episode of this game's over showing like, what the Japanese version's like or or get the English version that's been adjusted for um, the original concept. So we'll see. We'll see how I want to do it. So 
Yeah. I, although it'd be hard to notice, I'd have to like almost play the uh, dungeons back to back just to show you the difference in like the uh, the how long it takes to beat a monster as opposed to the different versions. So. All right. Yep. The life vessel. Yeah, I thought it was around here somewhere, but no. Okay, so. All right, that makes 39. That's it for all the relevant treasures. The rest of the treasures in the dungeon are all uh, herbs, so. Unless you really. I'll try to show how to get them, but that's. So don't get, you don't have to go out of their way to, to get them. It's just like, oh, if you've already got nine herbs, don't worry about it. Okay, but anyway, it looks like we got a classic. Uh, uh, let's see. I can't jump on top of these because it looks like we've got another what the I don't think I was supposed to like roll over that or maybe no I didn't think so it was just my perspective was off so I might as well fall off to see where it takes me anyway so let's see where this goes okay so those are teleports and or teleport initially into the dungeon okay so let's go to that Oh, it takes me over here, but... At least we can move those. I'm trying not to like, fall into the... Oh, come on, man. Die already. Wait, what? Oh, oh! <coughs> come on, man. Oh, well, alright. We're on the top of this thing. Let's see. Oh, there's... I assume I have to hit all the switches, so... Can I jump over this? No. Can I jump over that? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I could have jumped either either side of it, so. So, yeah, we did go through this dungeon to figure out, like, where we need to fall to hit all these switches, so that makes sense. Actually, if we fall again, I wonder. Oh, well. Let's see. Is that a jump now? Let's see where this takes me. Oh, it just takes me back here. Well, let's see what happens if we actually jump on the teleport this time. Come on. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to... Oh. That doesn't say hit. Huh. Well, that's... Maybe I have to... P I don't have to... Do you think I have to maybe push something on top of it? Hmm. Let me... Let me try something. It probably won't work, but let me... Looks like it's not ah. Yeah, that's ice physics. I'm just trying to see if I can actually push these into the hole or not. No, it's not with me, so okay. <clears throat> well it lets me push them that way, but Yeah, apparently maybe we have to push them all at the same time, or maybe there's something that lowers these down so we can push the, the pillars on top of them. Let's see where this takes me. Somewhere up. Okay. Let's see. It's just a low stair area, I guess. There. And more of those, like, pillar things. Oh, another one. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, more herbs and that desert gem thingy that I can't do anything to. As I'll show you. Yeah, no. No response. Okay. Let's uh go back up top and see if we can maybe jump over that uh that little gap or something like that so I don't have to keep sliding over it. Yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of the ice physics in this area. Oh come on. I was trying to jump over it so I didn't have to mess with trying to squeak by on the Nope. Yeah, of course it's gonna make me mess with it so I can barely squeak, uh, skim by. Cause I want to get past that, the hole, but I have to like push everything and move it all out of the way, and it's kind of annoying because the way that the uh, this works. So. Come on, I just don't want to fall, move so fast. I'm oh, uh, oh okay. Luckily, I should like to swap to fire. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter. Fire or ice or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, 
we got this hole we haven't fallen into, so we can just see where this goes. Yeah, you guys are beefy, that's for sure. It takes you a hot minute to get through this. Yeah. We already fell down through that one. Okay. I assume I can't push these off. Oh, I can, but I didn't mean to push it so far. I knocked myself off. <sighs> Great. Now I have to go back and do that all over again. Yeah, it looks like the momentum of me be pushing it pushed me too, or pushed it too, and me. Which is weird, because there isn't. There isn't ice in that room. Or ice in the. There should be ice on top of those things, so it should be norm, normal movement. So. Let's try to do that again without, like. Oh, come on. God. So. Uh, I mean, I know the point is to be slippery, but so unresponsive to the point of annoyance, you know? I think it's just because I'm slightly frustrated with this. See, I want to do is... That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to jump up over it so I don't have to work... Splish, splash, take a bath type of situation, so... Okay, so we haven't been... I assume we can't... Well, I can't push that. Well, I'm just trying to see how to push those switches, though. Because I can't just push that up, because it'll block me from pushing that up, too. Hmm. Yeah, see. I can't go over that, so... I feel like I do have to... You can't... And you can't do the whole, like, this... Oh, you can, but... Well, it wasn't like me before, so... Okay. Well, now that I know I can, if I'm good enough at manipulating it, I can't. There we go. Oh, and that's supposed to allow me to jump on it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's how you're supposed to hit them all at once. Gotcha. Although, I wonder if I messed up on a switch somewhere. Let's see. Three. And that one. I'm just trying not to mess up. <laughs> um, so that's four. How many other switches are in this place anyway? Well, that's five. I mean, we heard something click, so something happened. But I wonder if I have to get back to to the area I was before. Like that front area, maybe. Oh, okay, it dropped. So, yeah, I wonder if I if I actually left this room, if it would reset again. Maybe, so. But it's locked. Oh, I don't have a key. Hmm. What room had the key, though? That better stay unlocked. Okay, well, anyway, sorry. There's nothing here, is there? Nope. I can't... can't jump on these guys, right? Oop. Go away, you. Go away. Yeah, I can't, uh... Go away! <laughs> Leave me alone! I just want to solve this puzzle. Maybe one of this chest is a key. I could swear there are both herbs inside. Yeah, okay. I can't... Go away. Oh, now when I want to kill you, you won't stay put. There we go. I think these are supposed to get raised or something like that, but... I can't push these or anything like that. Let me see if it's reset again or if I have to... Okay, good. It's permanently down. That's good. It means I need to go into one of those doors, or one of those teleporters, I think, to um, find out where a chest with a key is in its own. So. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's drop down here again. Let's see. I'm trying to remember if I did that teleporter already. Let's try this one first, just to see where it takes me. 
to this one. Okay, that resets me. I wonder, I think, I'm almost thinking that all the eyes, all they do is just take me back to that specific spot. So that's probably a thing I don't have to worry about. So I just have to go to the, whoa. I just have to go to the teleporters, I think. Oh, hey, Maya. Oh, are you having trouble? I can barely get the switch to pledge. There must be some way to gain more leverage. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if we have to... Oh. Stand on your head again? Alindra, I swear, I really don't take you for the type that treats women like doormats. I don't know, I think that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Especially because it's you, Maya. But, uh... I love you. Love you, sweetie. Uh, I don't know, I just... I kind of like this type of humor. If only we had to four more pounds, curse my head for not picking the power burst. Wow. Man, I forgot how 90s, like, this game is, really, when it comes to translations. I thought she was gonna... I wonder if she makes a more cruder joke in the Japanese version about, you know, you know, viewers. Okay, so we hit that switch, but I still... Unless that... No, that's not a key, though, for that door, right? So... And I've already... I think I've hit that one... And I, obviously, we've hit this one multiple times. Was there, there another switch around here that... Let me, uh... Well, let me... Maybe... Let's see if that switch actually did anything. I doubt it, because it said it was locked. So, I assume I still need a key for that. So... Yeah, see, I still need a key for it. Unless... Unless hitting that switch finally opened up that one... Area. Let's see... Oh, it did. Okay, cool. So that's what the switches do. Oh, I bet that's when when I was in that one in the previous gym in the last episode. I when I hit that switch, um, my or those chests appeared is because I hit the switch in that like four room area where Maya was and everything like that. So that's probably why it was. Okay, now I get it. So anyway, I'm not gonna mess with you guys because I can just heal myself or get to the safe spot later. Okay, now we can open that door. Yay. Open sesame. What's inside? Oh, great. Little thing. I'm sorry you came here. Yep, and we have to fight this guy again. Except this time it's uh, by itself. No, uh, no two of them. Yeah, there's two spots specifically that'll uh, allow you to fight them, but if you, eh. but if you can plan them right, you can actually only have to fight um, uh, five of them instead of like six or whatever. But, but unfortunately, or maybe it's five. Maybe you can only fight five, and but I did it in the wrong order, so I I had to end up having to fight. Um, I had to fight this guy five times, technically. I'm trying to use the Fiend Blade so I can get more damage out of it. Instead of the Fire Wand, since... Since at this point, since the, the fight is so pretty easy that I don't really want to worry about the... Because as long as I can avoid him, it's not too bad. And as long as you move as soon as he's invincible. He's got invincibility spears on him when he... Whoop, whoop. Almost hit me. Nope. And then I slid into him. Ah. I keep sliding because it's an ice physics here, so I have to. So you can easily slide into his, uh, his bulbous his bulbous frame. And you could also call this guy the blob. Not the move the blob. Oh, oops. I get out of there. Probably have to end up healing with my water magic after, after a bit. Which is fine. Usually most bosses require me to hit heal anyway with something. If not the, uh, if not the spell, an item of some sort. There's probably people who can go through every single boss with like no damage, but nope, that ain't happening with me. All right, that's number three down. Oh yeah, a couple more to go. You did it. Okay, let's fight the... Um, I'm trying to remember which one I wanted to fight now. Well, hopefully that's the one I wanted to fight. <clears throat> we'll see as we get back to the main area. 
I was wanting to do the one in the upper upper right next, but I wonder if I wonder what would happen if uh, if I destroyed that one. If I could just go. Oh yeah, now I've uh, just unlocked the teleporter since I destroyed that one. I think it just takes us up. There you are, Lundrum. This rock seems to be placed rather inconveniently. Any bright ideas how to overcome this little obstacle? Oh yeah. Well. Oh, I should have not destroyed it because I could get that treasure chest. Well, Will, you're full of surprises, aren't you, Lundrum? I was going to jump on your head again, but, yeah. Whoa. Talk about a fiery exposition. Let's go back. Let's reset that really quick so we can um, get that chest. Although it's just an herb. Well, actually, I can't really say that because I don't know which chests are keys or herbs, but a lot of them are herbs. So. Oh, I can't. Uh, I guess I can't get it at this point. All right. Never mind. Then. Ooh, hot. Come on, baby. It's hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I guess I need something else to... Uh, and then this takes me to, I think takes me to uh, that one. Or, never mind, I was thinking of somewhere else. When land's rage bellows forth, only the fruits of ages shall, shall silence the fury. Fury? Ah. Well, I knew that was coming, but still. wonder if I can, uh, although, I assume I'm supposed to use these rocks to uh, plug up. Okay, never mind then, it didn't do anything. I'd... I thought I had to use the rocks to plug up the holes. Maybe I'm supposed to only use the... Oh, no, it did plug it up. It just didn't activate the first time. I assume it's supposed to be the ones with the obvious, like, clearly different-looking um, openings. Let me see if that's right. Yep, because there's clearly some of those that look different, so I need to plug those up. Oh, is that good enough, or do... Oh, yeah, see, it plugged up more than just a handful. Yeah, okay. Might have to... Uh, Oh, we only have four rocks. Maybe it's maybe it isn't based off that. Although I don't remember if that one on top was one of them. I was just testing a theory. Okay, now I have to redo this because the rock got damaged. I, I assume I need all the rocks ready to go to get this. So let's actually see how many of those of unique looking ones there are. No, there are four, so we do need all the rocks. So, oh come on, I wasn't anywhere close. Okay, that. You can kind of tell when I'm frustrated when, or not frustrated, a little bit annoyed with something when, when all of a sudden it gets my voice gets a little bit high pitched, like uh, like an I that shouldn't have happened type of situation. You just have to be careful about not losing the rock, uh, the rock getting hit or whatever. So. Yeah, when you, I think it only happens when I something unexpected happens, like I, you know, I'm just like, hey, that's not supposed to be how it goes, you know. Okay, and that stopped all of them, but... Okay, there we go. We just had to wait for the next cycle to occur. But we need a key. So, at least we solved it, so... Now we just need to uh, figure out how to... How to get to that. I Maybe I have to drop from somewhere. Drop on top of this pillar thing. From somewhere else, so... Okay, where are we now? Uh-oh. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. I forgot if you're... I think you're susceptible to the ice wand. Or just any of the wands, really. It doesn't have to be ice. Oh, right. Your big thing is you just go back into your shell after you get hit. That's right. So that's why doing this is actually not really forthcoming. Where does this take me? Does it take me back to that one area? Oh, yeah. Here we are. We're in this... Oh, I still never figured out how to get these things down. There's probably a switch in... Not this area where this room was fun, but from a, another spot on the map, so. Okay, so we need to get through. Might have to heal up here pretty soon. Let's see if I can make that jump. Okay, it can be made. He can be taught! Oh, come on. Fine, I'll just jump. I'll just take the damage right now. I'll come back later. Okay. And let's see, what do these switches do? Raises that. Oh, is there just different combinations to get that? Oops. To get that up. So I gotta get raised to a point. Unless, so let's check the rest of the area before I, uh. See. Okay, that just does that. So let's see if we can get that. Uh, 
I'm just going to take the hit. Jeez. Um, I think I'm not taking as much damage because of the uh, Navis charm or whatever. So. Oh, we just solved it. Never mind then. Okay. Let's see where this takes me. No, oh, we're in this area again. And I assume if I hit this, I'll unlock another... Like another... Uh, yeah, it looks like a lowered sim. So... Oops. So, we definitely need to go into an area where there's a key. Uh, yeah, I'm only taking one damage per piece, so... And I can heal myself, so I'm not messing with that, so... Oh, finally the safe spot. Excellent. We just went back. We just went the other way because of the stone we destroyed. So, all right. Well, that seems to be that seems to be a good time going from cold weather to hot flashes. Alundra's going through the whole cycle in one era. Can he uh, hold together his body uh, within this nightmare between the four personalities to save this little girl, whether he des she deserves to be saved or not? Because it's a little girl. Find out next time in the next episode of Alundra. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.